Hello, this is Mr. Priscilla, and today we're continuing our discussion of consumer loans in Math 1332. Today we're calculating average daily balance on a credit card, and that's a very common way that cal the credit card companies uh, calculate the amount of interest that they're charging you. They take the daily balance which if it say were August, it'd be 31 days. They take how much was the balance, what was the balance on that credit card at the close of business day in uh, each one of those 31 days, then just add it up and divide by 31. That's called the average daily balance. They're taking how much you owe every day and adding it up, dividing by however many days were in the month. If it were, say, uh, April, they'd be dividing by 30. The problems we're going to be doing is August, so they'll be dividing by 31. Let's see. Let's look at this problem number five. This is what we're doing here. It says, use the average daily balance method to compute the finance charge on the credit card account for the month of August, which is 31 days. The starting balance from the previous month is $260. The transactions on the account, on the account for the month are given in the table to the right. Assume an annual interest rate of 16% on the account and that the billing date is August 1st. Okay. So I'm going to make a little table summarizing all of this. If you wanted to imagine a August calendar. I'm going to be writing out the amount of money or the balance on the card for all 31 days. But I'm going to try to do it without actually writing out 31 different lines. Okay? Because on this one, it started, the balance began at $260. So that was on August 1st. So August 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the balance is 260 now, on August 6th, they're paying $87, which would knock the balance down to what? Uh, is it 173 and so forth? So here's the table I'm going to make for this. Okay. I'm going to make a table saying something like uh, this. I'll have a date column and then... Uh, transaction either they're charging something or making a uh, a payment then the balance now instead of writing out 31 lines in 31 days I'm going to say okay the number of days and then the next column or the last column number of days times balance that's going to be instead of me just writing out 31 total days. Mm -hmm. now, the starting balance on August 1, the starting balance was $260. Okay. We were told that the starting balance from the previous month is $260. Now let me write these. On August 6th, they made a payment of $87, so that'll subtract $87 from the balance. On August 11th, they charge $150, so that's going to add a $150. On August 19th, they're charging $27 for gas. On August 24th, they're charging a $28 restaurant meal. So, let me move this now. Let's go ahead and just uh, get one of the a balance for each of those transactions. 260 minus 87 is 173. Add 150, 323. Add 27, 
350, and then finally add 28, 378. So now, now we're going to count the number of days. It started on August 1st at 260. So August 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there were five days of it being a balance of 260. Since this month, August, has 31 days, this column here should add together to give 31. Now, on the 6th, they made the payment, so the balance fell to $173. So, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, another 5 days, the balance was 173. So, on August 1 through 5, the balance for each of those days was $260. For August 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, it was $173. Then on August 11th, they charged that $150. So from August 11th, starting on August 11th, the balance was $323 up until August 19th when it goes up to $350. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, I mean, you subtract that, that would be August 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th. So eight days, the balance was $323. Day, uh, dollars. On the 19th, when they charged the $27, the balance went up to 350 and it stays like that until the 24th. So the 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, that's five. Starting on the 24th, the balance goes up to $378. And let's count it out. That means that from the 24th through the 31st, the balance was 378. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, that's 8 days. You don't just subtract 31 minus 24. That would have given you 7. And this column wouldn't have added up to be 31 days. Again, if you had a calendar or if you just wanted to write August 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, all the way to 31, and just write out these balances. But to avoid doing that, I'm doing it like this. And now we have, imagine adding up 31 numbers and dividing by uh, 31. That's what I'm sort of doing here. If I added up 260 five times, then 260 times 5, 1300. 173 times 5, 865. 323 times 8. 2584, 350 times 5, 1750. What I'm doing is this times that, the number of days times the balance. Now 378 times 8, 3024. Now let's just add up all those numbers and then we'll divide by 31 and that'll get us the average daily balance that we'll use to calculate the uh, interest on. So 3024 plus 1300 plus 865 plus 2584 plus 1750 plus 3000, oops, wait, no, no. Hmm. 9,523. Let me just check that once more. I noticed as I was punching those in a moment, I punched in a wrong number. Yeah. So if we added up the balance. 
for every day of August, we'd get $9,523. Let's divide that by 21. 9523 divided by, I said 21, I think. I mean divide by 31. Let's see, I'm just punching this stuff into my calculator. And we get 307. How about y'all round that to 19 cents? 307.19. So that's the daily balance that the uh, credit card company or bank is going to use to calculate for your uh, to calculate the interest. So now how do we calculate the interest? Well, like most credit cards, they have a really high interest rate, 16 percent. So you're going to go, that average daily balance, $307.19 times 16% times 0.16. Now here, when we go PRT, T has to be in uh, years. In the past, there have been some problems where we would go 1 over 12. One month is 1. But here, since we're actually looking at number of days, 31 days, we're going to convert that to a year by dividing by 365. If it had been a 30-day month, it would be 30 over 365. If it had been February and it wasn't a leap year, 28 over 365. If it were a leap year, February 29. So I'm taking the average daily balance times 0 0.16, let's see, times 0 0.16 times 31 divided by 365, $4.17. Okay, and you notice, you'll notice if I would had rounded it, I was just using the number that was showing there out of laziness. It would have still rounded to $4.17. So for that month, they're using 300, they're pretending that every day you had $307.19 charged times 16% times 31 over 365. The way they're calculating these average daily balances leads you to realize if you're going to make a payment, you should pay it as soon as possible, okay? Because that'll lower the average daily balance. Let's suppose instead of August 6th they made the payment, if they'd made the payment on August 1st or on August 2nd, then they would have had this lower balance for more days than the 260. Similarly, if they had waited to make the payment until August on a 27th, for instance, then the average daily balance would be higher. So pay off on credit cards as soon as possible. Let me take a short break to see who's here at the door, and then we'll do the next one.